How's it going everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft Let's Play. I was just about to start and noticed that all of you were stuck in this hole. So would you like a hand? Here, come on. Get get out. There we go. Okay, we've gotten you out. <laughs> what a terrible intro. Come on, Z, get better. What are you doing, man? You're doing so bad. I know. Listen, I I do so many episodes, I do so many videos that the intros, you know, I just got to spice it up somehow. So don't judge me, okay? <laughs> it was still fun, you gotta admit. I know that, you know, it was at your expense, you were in the hole, but that's fine. Today, we're building a bridge. It's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned, because I've got a lot of cool building tricks going into it. We've also gotta do some yard work, but I'm not gonna do that today, because I am lazy. I'm gonna put it off once again, but as you can see, if we go around the back of the house, which we'll go through the proper way, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me go through the front door, side door, there we go. Yeah, I, I haven't been cutting the grass. It's uh, it's pretty bad. It's growing like crazy, but we're going to put it off again. <laughs> I mean, I, it's not like I work back here that often, so that, you know, it's no big deal. But um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely getting out of control. So we'll have to work on that soon. But again, today we're working on a bridge. But before we can do that, we actually need to throw our armor on and I need to craft a whole bunch of campfire blocks. If you enjoy the video and want to support my channel and help me make videos in the future, consider becoming a member where you'll be invited to my Minecraft and Discord servers, as well as have a chance to help me with new videos through exclusive community posts. Click the join button below for more information, and also thank you to those of you who have become a member since my last video. Another day, another set of bees frozen in the void of space. I mean, this cabin is extremely messy because as you walk up to it, not only is our backyard grass just growing crazy, we've got bees everywhere, and most of them are just stuck in midair doing absolutely nothing. We've got blocks all over the place. We've really got to do some cleanup. But again, I'll put that off until next episode. For now, we're going to talk about how expensive campfire blocks are. I mean, they are extremely expensive, and for what? I mean, for what reason? I guess they are nice blocks, to be fair, but still. But then again, I am the only one who's really crafting more than 64 of them at a time, so I guess I deserve it, right? Or I guess so. <laughs> so we're using the campfire blocks for building today with this bridge, but I want to take it slow with this bridge building process because I want you to learn from it. So the exact project goes like this. As some of you may know, I'm wanting to work on a train system to connect all of the villages that we build in this world together. And seeing as we're currently working on our first village, which is the jungle village, all the way over there, I'd like to be able to get over there a little bit quicker. And to do that, we're going to need some sort of train system. So I want to build a bridge going over this river. Because one of another projects that I have is to clean up this landscape. Because how cool would it be for this all to look beautiful and there to be a bridge going over this gap that we can go under and connect all the way over to the village on that side of the mountain. There are so many different things I want to do to this world, but this is definitely one of the first priorities because it would look absolutely amazing. And those of you who've been with me for a long time know that I am an absolute fanatic when it comes to landscaping. So there's a lot of work to be done in this area, but today we're going to start with project number one, which is of course course building the bridge that being said this bridge is going to consist of mainly wood product so we're going to use dark oak spruce and campfire blocks so it should look pretty good once it's all done i'm hoping that it will, it will fit and at the end of it i'm going to probably build a little tower that kind of resembles the jungle village as well but we'll see that in a moment now before we get started i want to say the tip number one for bridge building because today is bridge building 101 is to find a good location. You always want something immaculate, something spectacular. Make sure that the area actually needs a bridge. I see so many people building a bridge over the smallest gap and it's so unnecessary. Sometimes you don't really need it. You could do a log that fell over and that would look better. So this area though definitely needs a bridge. I mean, this is a huge space. And since it's gonna be a train, it doesn't need to go and kind of you know have that oval shape it just seems to be a straight path so we're gonna have to kind of make up for that and give it a cool design underneath with the arch so there's a lot of cool stuff to be done here but tip number one is location make sure that you have a good location that being said let me get all of my blocks together and we will get started it seems like just yesterday we were living in this tent back in episode one right next to the party cows I miss it. It was such a good time. But you know what? I can't complain 
because now we get to live in the beautiful cabin, which I've got to say is probably the number one building project on my channel to date. The video where we built this has like 400,000 views or something like that. It's insane. So thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy. By the way, to everybody who is subscribed, stay tuned. Special announcement at the end of this video. Not really special, but something I definitely think is important. And if you're subscribed, you will definitely want to know. Anyway, so what we want to do today is build a bridge because to reassess the plan and that's kind of tip number one actually or tip zero is to assess the plan before you do it know what you're building before you go into it that will help the process so much so what we want is a bridge because what we're going to build later is a train station on this hill so we're going to need an access bridge that leads all the way over here which leads to a tunnel to the jungle village. That being said, our bridge is going to go from there to here. And this is exactly where I want it to center up with because for some reason, this particular line stands out to me. I know it's not centered with this side, but it is centered with this, which this is kind of the main you know, feature that we're trying to connect and utilize. So that being said, I'm gonna start building pretty much right here and hopefully that'll give us a good height. And we essentially need to just build a flat bridge all the way across. So tip number one, whenever you're building bridges, there's two different ways you can do it. You can either A, arch it over and have it kind of go, you know, and do the classic arch bridge design, or you can have it flat. But if you do it flat, then you want to basically put the arch beneath it. And I'll show you a little bit more about that and what I mean once we get to that point. But this will at least allow us to know exactly where our bridge is. I kind of want to raise it up a little bit more, though. So I think I am going to build it one block higher. So we're just going to go across and do that. Next up, we want to go ahead and place the campfire blocks. And by the way, don't worry, I'm not going to do this whole video as a tutorial I'm just kind of getting started so that I can mentally prepare and get in the zone for building this bridge but basically what I want to do is use the campfire block to create a railroad look and feel and I imagine it will look really good once it's all complete but in order to do that we need a temporary block and I know I could use the scaffolding but as you can see I kind of already used it so that being said we're using the dark oak wood but what I want to do is basically place campfire blocks along the railing and that'll just make it look like a railroad. It should look pretty good once it's all done. Like I said, it's just going to take some time. So uh, here we go. It's about to get really loud. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this down. But we basically need to go ahead and just place these campfires all the way across. And I probably don't even have enough for this. Actually, no, we should be pretty much good to go, I imagine. It definitely seems like we're going to need a lot more than I have. But I think we are a okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do this side because i don't want there to be flames on both sides but basically i have to go through and put every single flame out so i don't know why i've decided to use campfire blocks every time i do i think it's a great idea and then we get up to the building process and i absolutely regret it but you know what the final product looks amazing so we have to put in the work because that's another tip whenever you're building the longest, the things that take the absolute longest time are the ones that look the best when they're done. So don't be afraid to put in the work and to put in the details. And you know, that actually kind of translates to real life and things that you love to do. So uh, now let's see, that's probably easier said than done. Let me go ahead and do this side now. There we go. That's looking pretty good. As you can see, we got rid of the placeholder block. So now we basically just have the campfire and the spruce. And you can kind of see exactly what I'm going for here. It should look awesome once we get the other details in place. But before we do that, we need to talk about the next step to building bridges, which is, of course, post and basically where the bridge is supported. So as you can see, this is a pretty long bridge. I mean, it's definitely a longer bridge than I normally do build, but that doesn't mean that we have to have six different pillars for support. In fact, where the scaffolding is is kind of a good example of how many we need. We only need two pillars. So just keep that in mind when you're building your bridge. Don't go all out. I don't want to block the river by having a post in the middle, so we're only going to do two. I am going to move them out a little bit to have them a little bit further apart, but that is all we need, and they really only need to be one block thin. So that being said, let me go ahead and figure out the placement. We'll get that going, and all of the decorations will start to come together, and you will absolutely love the way this bridge looks. The moment of truth, does this bridge look good? No, it does not. This bridge looks pretty bad, and it's because all we've got are two posts and a general bridge. Is it functional? Yes. Does it look good? No. So that means we've got to keep working on it. Now, what I'm going to do, and also you can see I've added these stairs, 
to kind of thicken it up a little bit. It looks a little bit better. We need to add a holding mechanism that makes it look like the posts are actually doing something. So to do that, I'm essentially going to use these dark oak products to create a really nice little mechanism that kind of wraps around. And you'll see exactly what I mean here in just a moment. Now, to do that, we're going to have to kind of think on our feet here. I think I want to do this and then do that. I think we're coming together here. Now let's go a little bit higher. Hopefully we get a good looking design out of this. Now I also want to go ahead and make this an upside down stair and then do that and that. And hopefully that looks good. So let's go ahead and see how it does look. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And once we do it on the other side, it'll look even better. And then when we do it over there, it'll look good. And when we add the cross decorations to kind of get more of that dark oak color in there, it'll look even better. And just like that, almost by magic, the bridge is already looking so much better. I've added a couple more details horizontally to make it look a little bit more supported. And all we really need to do now is add some support on the bottom of the pillars as well as create the arch. So that being said, together I do want to kind of come up with an arch design, at least half of it, and then I'll go off and build it on my own because you know exactly how much I hate building on camera. I'm just so bad at it, I can't talk when I do it, but that's okay, that's okay. So what I need to do now is go ahead and build up a little bit so that we can actually access this thing because right now I'm kind of at a disadvantage, but that's a-okay. Let's go ahead and jump back down here, do that. Building an arch is all about getting the perfect angle, and I just want this to slowly slope up to kind of meet at the center, so it looks like they're kind of connected horizontally, just like what the trap doors do. So that being said, we are gonna have to do a little bit of work here to make this look the way we want it, and it's usually not too hard to do. It just takes, like I said, a little bit of work, but I think that honestly should do. So let me get rid of the scaffolding and see exactly how this looks. You know what? That definitely works for me. All I've got to do now is build it on the other side as well as another piece kind of going in these corners and we will be pretty much all set. So let me go ahead and finish this bridge, get it all cleaned up and I will show you the final product. Another day, another build complete and it feels really good to be able to walk in here in the cabin and hang up my tools and my armor. But that being said, before we go finally look at the finished product of the bridge, I just want to say I mentioned an announcement earlier that I was going to say at the end of the video, and that's exactly what we're going to do here together. So those of you who are subscribed to me are definitely going to want to know about this. So YouTube has yet again done another one of their updates that aren't really that great for content creators, and unfortunately this one affects me. So. As it currently stands, when you look at my channel, I've got a verification mark, and that essentially means that I am who I am, and I'm not an impersonator. You get it whenever you hit 100,000 subscribers, and as much as it is just kind of a symbol of status, and it doesn't really mean much, it's also kind of an award for hitting 100,000 subscribers. Because of course that is actually when you're able to access it. Upon request, you can get the verification mark. Unfortunately, they're getting rid of it and changing it completely. So the verification mark will be completely gone. And that also unfortunately means, for some reason, I and a lot of other YouTubers similar to myself will not be eligible. I mean, even Mumbo Jumbo is losing his mark. So I just wanted to let you know so that you know I am still me. And when you find my channel when I don't have that mark anymore, I'm not an impersonator. Am I sad about this? Yes. Will this really change anything? Not really. I'll still be myself. I just won't have the mark to prove it. So I just hope you trust me and believe me. Right now it's there, and that's all that matters. I'll always know that I got it, and I was very proud to have it while I did. But anyways, enough of the sadness. It's all fine. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to give you a heads up so that you knew why it was gone. But anyways, this is the final product of the bridge, and I am absolutely in love with it. I think it looks fantastic. As you can see, I've added the stone base to the pillars to make it look a little bit better and blend in with the mountain. We've got the nice arch to really make it look supported. Once we add the train station and the product of, I guess, the jungle village over here, the tower, it's going to look amazing. But that, that essentially ends today's episode. The entire point was to figure out how to build a bridge, and hopefully you've learned. If there was something I missed, if you got a tip for me on building bridges, please let me know in the comments down below. But that's going to be it for today. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. And if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. And like I said, that's 
going to do it for today. My name has been System Z. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.